Welcome back to the Super Tucano, the A29B. Uh, we're going to talk about the navigation page and adding a waypoint to your flight plan today. Mostly this would be used, I think, for uh, target, uh, for finding targets, marking targets, being able to keep track of where they are. And um, once again, this has been covered in one of the Portuguese videos, so uh, I will link it in the description as usual so uh, the first thing we need to do is just go to our nav page and our fyt page i think that stands for flight um, you're going to be doing a lot of trimming and my trim buttons are a little bit too aggressive so i, I have to trim and then constantly be checking my um, uh, checking how i'm flying so i don't crash while i'm stuck in the cockpit but uh, obviously we can go through our waypoints and we see we've got five here so um, whatever your procedure um, and here in the route page we can see our five waypoints but um, if we go back here whatever your procedure is for picking which waypoint you want to edit is fine um, up here on the upfront controller um, you can go through pages sometimes by eh, maybe not that's just the return page oh that takes you to the menu there we go so you can go to the menu and go to your nav page if you want that way but um i thought i could return as well there we go uh, but you can just hit the four key to take you to your nav page now here um obviously my trim isn't right it changes constantly too so um, anyway, so here we can go through our waypoints as well, um, and you can go to the waypoint you want to edit, or if I'm anywhere, see the asterisks are here, I can just start punching in 0, 6, and enter, and now I'm on waypoint 6, and the asterisks go down to the latitude. Okay, so we have a target somewhere over here, we're going to have to get a little bit lower and try to spot it now. Truthfully, I know where it is, but I'm trying to be somewhat realistic with this. <clears throat> so, let's put some speed on it and go over here. We've um, this is kind of a simulation of uh, if you were if you're working with JTAC or something like that, or a spotter on the ground forward air controller um, who's telling you where a target is based on landmarks you would be finding it this way and then trying to mark it this way of course they could give you lat long as well if they had it and then you could just punch it in but we have been told there is a target in this town here it's going to be hard to see but i think i can see it we're going to have to get lower without crashing Okay, there, there it is. There's a tank right there, or a, or an IFV. <clears throat> we also don't want to get shot. So then we can look at our map and get our coordinates. Okay, so we will trim it back out. We are climbing big time there. I try to trim um, carefully too, but you know, I'm impatient. <laughs> okay, so now let's go to our map and we'll try to get our latitude first. Okay, that was along this road and it was right about here. So we're looking at 270756 north. Uh, so here we're on this line. Uh, so this is north. I didn't notice these uh, buttons being having some embossing on them the way they do or that's probably the um the reflective maps or normal maps or something but anyway so the two this is north east that says west right there but um you have to punch i'm pretty sure the four is the east which is kind of backwards but north and i talk too much so got to come back uh 270756 2707 56. Okay, north to 
seven zero seven five six two seven zero seven five six. Enter. All right. <clears throat> now back, and we will get five six five four four six, and that's east. So let's try this. Let's see what happens. Yep, east. So I think those are backwards. Hit four for east. Five six five four four six. Now you have to on the, on longitude. There's more possible. There's 180 degrees, so you have to hit a zero placeholder. Uh, five six five four four six. Five six. I think I did that wrong. So we did it wrong. That's that's okay. We'll clear it out. Let's go check it again. Five six five four four six. East zero five six. <laughs> I keep doing it. I'm dyslexic or something. You can see, like, uh, it can be very difficult if you don't slow down. <laughs> five, six, five, four, four, six. That looks better. Okay, five, six, five, four, four, six. It makes me really appreciate the people that do this kind of stuff in real life. So we're in feet. you got to watch your units there. Uh, you need to watch your units on these two, but it's um, degrees, minutes, decibel, minutes, which is fine. That's what this system uses. But we're at 27 feet enter time of flight uh, I don't care so much about that or um, so we're just gonna put uh, 0 7 30 enter okay so now we have another waypoint and we can check it here 270756 27 feet and then you get your um, range your ele elevation above in the bearing to that location so you can always get a bearing to your target and let's see if it looks halfway decent i think it does now we're going to need some altitude let's go to our sms page let's start setting things up uh, air to ground and we don't have those anymore we're going to do pairs And now we'll do our attack run. The attack run is not really part of this video. Um, so uh, don't worry about this. But um, I just wanted to show how to add that waypoint. Now if you ever get if you ever get a line that's just messed up, just always remember you can hit the clear. Um, you can usually return to the page before with that switch. Um, so you, you you know don't get too frust flustered. Um, Obviously, I messed up several times there, and I think we got the information in there the way we wanted in the end. So it's just a matter of being patient, and uh, it looks like that diamond is not quite where it should be. So I've entered something incorrectly, um, or we have like, uh, it could be we have like some sort of a declination problem or something like that. Uh, let's go check it again. 270756. 270756 and 565446. 565446. Five, four, four, um, unless I'm like super dyslexic, we have it in there correctly. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with it, but in theory it should work. Um, somebody, if if I'm just way, if I'm missing something there, um, somebody comment and let me know. Um, so one handy thing is I can tell how far away I am from that point. Now, um, maybe I should fly directly at it because um, I don't mind it being offset by a couple of miles if I'm just trying to get in the neighborhood once I know where the target is uh, for a CCIP run anyway. Um, that's not too bad. But I actually want to come in from a different side anyway. So uh, I'm not really using the waypoint at this at this juncture since it's not really where it's supposed to be. Um, it's it's somewhere over here and it should be right about there so that's problematic uh, but i don't know the explanation and for the for the purposes of this video i don't think it matters
This isn't bad. That's probably a better release. I'm a little bit higher, but I was a little steadier and at a 45 degree angle. And that looks pretty close. I see smoke. So that's what you call a good hit. Okay, good deal. So I hope that was helpful. As always, uh, happy flying and thanks for watching.